Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today out of the Raiders playbook. I'm trying my best to focus on the uh, the most popular playbooks. The Raiders is definitely one of them. Uh, as always, if you guys want to see more stuff out of playbooks like this, the Saints, the Niners, uh, whatever the most popular playbooks are, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button in these videos, and I'll continue to try to focus on them. Today, I have some really good passing plays uh, out of one of the best uh, gun formations in this particular playbook. They don't have a ton of gun formations. They don't have a ton of, um, you know, formations like, I mean, the bunch is kind of limited. Uh, they don't even have a tight, which I personally love the tight. I mean, they do have a gun bunch TE, uh, which I put out some plays from before. I'll put links in the description for some of the schemes that I've already broken down from the Raiders because I've done a ton. I've done some out of the uh, the empty base flex, the, uh, the empty tray stack, some really good formations. So if you want to see more stuff from the Raiders, as always, you can just check out my team playbook. I got a team playbook for every team in the game uh, you can always check out the playlist for these teams if you want to see more plays but i'll try to put links in the description for some of the other breakdowns that i've done uh, but i'm definitely going to focus on a new formation today the gun tight doubles uh, the first play that i'm going to show is going to be the tight end curl this is a route here that um, I'll explain a little bit when we get into the play. So let's go and let's pick that. I could really pick random defenses, which is what I'm going to start off with. I'm going to go random dollar. Now, this route that the X route is running, um, I like to motion it out. I'm going to be doing a lot of motion in this formation, but this route pretty much gets open against just about any zone that I saw, uh, with the exception being cover two zone. That's about the only zone that can really give it uh, a slight issue. So like right here, this looks like it might be a cover two zone. It can still get open against cover two zone, uh, but ultimately it's a little bit of a different pass. I mean, you ultimately, it, that, that's just not the best defense to run us against. So any zone coverage, cover three, cover four, cover four quarters, cover four match, uh, even man coverage, like right here. That was a, probably a cover two man. I noticed that that route got open against just about all of them. Uh, it does best against man cover one, man and zero here we have a little bit of a window but ultimately like i said it's best to motion that guy out and get him on a one-on-one -on -one. now i like to motion him out put this guy here on a streak uh depending on what formation we're looking at like if it's a man cover two that'll pull coverage back but you can see it doesn't matter what zone what formation coverage it's all about timing that's probably the most important thing when it comes to this particular route um is when you throw it like right here if i i throw it here when he's basically the cornerback a lot of times will react as if he's on a streak and have his back turned and that's why when I throw it, he has so much separation because these cornerbacks rarely have the ability to turn around, flip their hips, and then make a play. So it's really a timing throw. I typically like to throw right in the break. You'll get the most easy completions if you do that. Other than that, this play doesn't have a ton going for it, but it does have a table route, uh, which is going to be good against pretty much any zone coverage as well. Anything but hard flats, the table route should get open against. Uh, and also man coverage. It's not really going to beat man coverage, but you have um, a pretty good man beater in this X route, and then you also have a really good secondary option, which is this uh, this table route. So here it looks like we had another cover two. Cover two zone is going to be a play that really uh, gives this play the most problems, uh, and that would be the one formation that I would avoid. But like I said, I pretty much just streak these guys just to pull coverage back. You got some pretty good checkdowns with the uh, with the the uh, the drag. They're looking like another cover two. Ultimately, the best part. I mean, the table route's probably gonna be best against like cover three and cover four zones. Uh, but this is pretty much going to be all about this motion route. I'm really gonna try to ISO uh, this motion route. As you can see, it pretty much gets open against just about anything. That was actually the tightest coverage that I've seen. But we still made the play. So like I said, the the X route here. Um, even though it does, it, it tends to vary. I found it worked best against cover four, uh, match cover four, regular cover four drop and, uh, cover three zones and, uh, man coverage, anything but man cover two and zone cover two. Uh, the next play I'm going to show has, uh, the ability to get open against a lot of different coverages as well. The zig under go and I'll pick that. This one here is going to be, uh, the best man coverage play probably out of this entire formation. So I'll pick cover two man cover two man reacts a little bit differently than cover than cover one man cover zero. It's a little bit harder, uh, but this these routes here, these um, kind of augmented routes, will really have success against excuse me against any man coverage. 
that's the uh, the Y route and the A route. So the Y route here, um, it doesn't really have an inside release, so it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, I would say that that might be a little bit better against like a man cover one or a man zero. Um, this player right here is really going to be best to the, the A route because the A route will have that outside release, which is what you're going to want. So whether it's man cover two or man cover one, it'll have that. You can also smart route these routes, which will shorten them, and then they'll get even more of an instant release. As you can see right there, he's just e immediately open. And then obviously the zigs are very good man beaters as well. So this is a very good play. The X route as well. All these routes are really going to be good man coverage routes. So if you run this play against somebody running a lot of man, obviously they might try to lurk those those uh, routes. You're going to easily have a lot of other options. The B route here uh, is a pretty good route as well. It's basically just a reverse zig. But that one takes probably the longest to get open. Now I could say, you know, the running back isn't going to do anything against man coverage so I can block him. Uh, but you have a lot of really good man coverage beaters uh, pretty much all over the field all four receivers are good man beaters this play also is a very capable cover three play uh, cover three being a very good defense post pat so we're going to pick cover through sky this play you probably just have the most this over i would say the very least run to the open side of the field it would help to run all the way to the boundary but as long as you run to the open side of the field you'll have uh, success with this so this route here if i motion this guy out put this b route on a streak put this x route on a streak that's pretty much all you have to do and this b route here will have a ton of success as that cornerback will bite on the outside of that um that uh, i'm not really sure what to call it. it's kind of like an augmented corner route uh, we'll go to the replay um, like i said if i run this all the way to the hash it's going to be open even wider but you're not always going to have that luxury so watching this cornerback here uh, is really where you know it's really all you have to do you can see he bites on that outside route the second he turns his back uh he, you know he basically just plays over the top of that all i gotta do is bullet pass lead away from the safety so i'll go ahead and i'll do that again motion that guy out put the b route streak put the x route on a streak and that's all you really have to do uh, and then, like I said, I mean, that safety's kind of in position, but since there's so much routes going on, it really doesn't have the ability um, to, to cover them all. It, it kind of just, like, you know, lazes in the middle. So definitely a good cover three beater. Another good cover three beater is going to be the flood drive. This is a play that can beat multiple defenses once again. Um, you know, I would say this is this doesn't have any real man coverage beaters uh, aside from the tight end, but let's go and let's pick that. And then we'll do cover three before we do a couple more defenses from this particular play. Now, this is another play. You have to run it from the open side of the field, uh, but you don't have to be like too far to the open side of the field. So just anything off center, run to the open side and you'll be good. Another play, you're going to want to make a motion. I'm going to motion this guy out. Put the, uh, the A route here. I can block the A route and then put the B route on a streak. That's all you really have to do. And this is going to be a pretty glitchy play against cover three as this X route here uh, will essentially just get past the cornerback. I'll go to the replay to show you what to watch for because you will be watching this corner. As you can see, the cornerback that I'm staring at here, he's going to be the guy. He just runs with him stride for stride and then he eventually slows down to react to the oncoming crosser. Why? I don't know, considering that the crosser is not really anywhere in his area there's multiple guys underneath but it doesn't really matter so he's going to slow down when he does you just bullet pass lead away from the safety and you have an easy one play touchdown against cover three and some of these plays that i put out they're very similar concepts but you have to run them from the hash mark this one you don't have to run from the hash mark so that's really helpful this will get open uh run anywhere from the center of the field uh to the open side of the field so i'm going to do that again like i said if i run this all the way from the hash mark it's going to be even easier so let's do that one more time. Now, accidentally, I did accidentally put the X route on a streak, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. I'll just put him right back on that fade uh, because the fade uh, really, you know, I, I find that helps a little bit. And then you can see it's the exact same effect. So just watching that cornerback, waiting for that cornerback to bite. Okay, so there is a good man beating route here, uh, which is the tight end. So we'll just pick a quick uh, man coverage. The A route is a very good man beating route. If you throw it once again in the break, it gets open against man coverage. It's really that simple. Not a lot to go over. Obviously, the drag uh, will have success as well. So you have, as is, you have some pretty good man beating routes. And then ultimately, it's a cover through one play touchdown. Another good play is the out smash. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. This is going to be the best cover two play in this formation. So go ahead and pick Tampa two. This play can have success against a lot of zone coverages. Um, you know, if I go against cover three, I'm just going to put this X route and out route, put this A route and a streak. Um, if I'm going against cover three, uh, cover four, 
Um, you know, a lot of different defenses. The the cover three, the X route will be cover three pretty easily, although the Y route will too, because a lot of times cover three cornerback will react to the streaking A route. But I really want to focus on cover two because I don't have a cover two play in this scheme. So I can really do a couple things. I can put this X route on a flat. I can put this uh, Y triangle route on a smart route. I mean, there's a number of things that I can do. Uh, and then you can see I mean, we're really just attacking uh, the weakness of cover two, which is going to be this outside area here. So, I mean, that doesn't really, I mean, you don't have to streak or bring across the tight end and put him on a streak. I mean, you can obviously just put that guy on a flat, and then you can see if I didn't, you know, run out of bounds essentially there, I probably would have had another touchdown. So, you don't have to give away your intent with emotion. Um, this Y route here, it's like a corner route, but there's a little bit more, uh, there I threw it a little bit early because of pressure, but there's a little bit more length to this corner route than the typical corner route, which is why that this uh, particular route, especially with that hard flat setup that I put on, um, can really have success as you can see I mean it's a tight throw it's best to spread the field spread the defensive alignment by motioning across this uh, this particular uh, tight end here that will give you the best look and then, like I said you could also smart route the Y route uh, which I find can uh, can definitely help but you can see I mean this is something that you can steal all game and it has the capability to be a catch and run one play touchdown now maybe um, you know maybe it's best to, to put them on a smart route I do like that shortened version I do feel like that works, um, but this is pretty much it here. The A route too. A lot of times, you can see as long if that tight end that, or that uh, that middle linebacker on the mid read doesn't really react to the tight end, like he's not for whatever reason on this particular setup. Obviously, that's a big play, uh, but I really find that more more consistently, you're probably going to find the Y route. Uh, we'll get open against this look. So hopefully we can get a little bit more pass pro here. And then you can see, like I said, I'm pretty much getting out every time. Like I said, it worked that way against cover three and cover four as well. Pretty much any zone that Y route will have success. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. Like I said, as always, if you guys want to see more plays out of the Raiders playbook, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.